Hello everyone. So I'm back with my black pillow. Today I'm gonna make a swipe. Oh. Need to clean the can. I can see dry paint is <laughs> flying off. So I'm filled with ideas and I just wanted to use up this last bit of paint from this container and obviously there's not a lot of paint left here so I'm gonna do a swipe on a 30 by 30 centimeter canvas and it is inspired by Sarah Taylor I'm gonna use some different um, triad colors and actually the same colors that I used in the last piece but the last piece I forgot to use these prism Pepeo prism fantasy so I'm gonna try and make another swipe and see if I can remember to use those first off I'm gonna use this one this is Amsterdam pearl white with a little bit of golden fluid titanium white and I'm today I'm gonna put the colors down not on a palette knife but on the pillow now I'm I don't have a game plan I'm just improvising next color up I think I'm gonna use this one boom jump pillars and watermelon I love this color although it does tend to take over so I have to be careful not to use too much but it's a gorgeous color and a little bit here there we go and the next color up is this little piggy TLP sequence can you see the color shift in here it's amazing I love this color I'm gonna put it on top of the black because the pearlescence shows better with a dark background Maybe on the inside on that one. That was that. Next color up, Triad Liquid Mirror. I don't know if you can tell the the shine in this one, but it's amazing. It's so soft and creamy, and yeah, it just looks great. And a little bit over here as well. <clears throat> I feel like that one really shines on the black background. Next up, also try out. And this one is interference turquoise. Can you see the color shift? This one looks amazing as well. Now I don't, I, I feel like I don't have a lot of room left if I was to go out in the black area it was really going to be, you know, some wide lines and they're wide enough already I think. So, a little bit of black boom gel. <clears throat> Just to see if I can get some hard crisp cells. I don't know if this one is going to mess it all up. Hope not. So the next one is this Pepeo 
Prison Fantasy. Now I've seen Sarah Taylor use these to make texture and it's amazing. You don't need a lot. Maybe this was even too much. We'll see. Another one of the Pepios. <clears throat> this one is called Ore. And the other one was Turquoise. Just gonna add a little bit. Just to see if I can make some cool texture. I'm gonna make a close-up video for you now because you can actually already see that this paint behaves different. Let me just show you up close. So can you see in the turquoise at least that it is um, if it's on a paper you can actually see it looks like beehive almost looks neat. So that's what brings the texture. For my CA I'm going to use my Amsterdam bronze, I believe it is. And maybe I'm also going to use some some white CA. We'll see.
center. So that should be where there's the most paint, right? It should be fine. Now, I'm not sure about this goldy block there. Um, I'm not sure it's good, a good thing to keep it there, but I'm also not sure if it's the Pepio I'm going to mess it up, you know. Maybe I should just leave it. I'm going to give it five minutes and look at it with fresh eyes. I'll be back. Let me bring you guys in for a close-up. I'm so sorry if you can hear my son in the background. He's chatting with a friend online. So that tiny gold dot there I decided to leave it be because it's the Pebio fantasy moon and I don't know if you can tell but down here when I was scraping I was actually dragging the Pebio <laughs> across it's because it's it dries up uh, get gooey rather quickly and that's that's the one I added to get some texture now I think this is pretty cool. A lot of colors, um, a lot of stuff going on, on everywhere. Usually it's not my thing, but I don't know what makes this difference. I kind of like it. Even the wonky cells up here. I was actually a little bit bummed when I saw them when I was done spinning, but I'm gonna leave them there, and then I can decide when it's when it's dried up, and see if I'm going to embellish it in in some way. What do you think, guys? Uh, too much colors, too much going on everywhere. What do you think? Leave me a comment in the comment box below, and stay safe till next time. Bye.